here today to do a tag video. This is going to be the scavenger hunt tag for the bookshelves, which are right behind me. I'm actually standing on the coach right now. That's why I'm so bouncy. Okay, gotta stop that. I was actually tagged by Katie Mazur, I think is her name. I will link her video down below so you can go check that out, as well as the original video. I will link that down below as well. This is me linking it down below. So basically what this is, is a scavenger hunt through the bookshelves. There is a list of questions, a list of items I need to find within the bookshelves. And I, I don't know, I have lots of options. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to find everything. Cross your fingers. Me, me, crossed. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it and see what we find. Ooh boy, treasure hunt. I feel like a pirate. So the first question is, find an author's name or a book title that has the letter Z in it. So I think I know exactly which one I'm going to pick out. So just give me one moment, please. The book that I found for this question is World War Z by Max Brooks. Big old Z right on the front. P.S. I am from Canada, which means that I say Z and not Z. So for those of you who are confused, Z and Z are the same thing. Mystery solved. The next question is find a classic. Be right back. We actually have a whole shelf full of classics, so there. The book I chose for this question was To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Definitely a classic. Read this bad boy in high school. Don't remember anything about it. Whoops. Third question is find a book with a key on it. And this one may take me a while because I don't even have anything in mind for this book, so bear with me. So I looked and I couldn't find anything with a key on it, but I have a cat instead. So that will do. Okay. The fourth question is find something on your bookshelf that's not a book. And I have something. It's not Carl. I have two things to show you, making up for the last question. Oh yeah. The first thing that I have that's not a book on my bookshelf is my piggy bank. And it's so cute because it's got like tiger stripes on it and it's orange like a tiger, but it's a pig. Pretty sure there's only pennies in here, but retirement fun, what up? And the other thing that I have on my shelf that's not a book, well right now I guess it is a cat because Carl's on my shelf, damn it, is this little thing that says, you're my happily ever after and I bought this for my boyfriend for Valentine's Day because I'm real cute like that. Next question is find the oldest book on your bookshelf. So I don't know if this means the oldest book that was created or the oldest book that I have. I will go and have a look and see what I have. So I just took it for the oldest looking book on my bookshelf because I don't know which one of these I got first and I don't really want to look through all of them to figure out which one's actually the oldest because right now you can see these two bookshelves. I also have one down there and I have another one right over there. And these shelves, one there and one here. So that would just be kind of like a lot of books to go through. So I just went for the one that looks the oldest and that is going to be The Tolkien Companion by J.E.A. Tyler. This book looks super old. Let's see, 1977. That's not very old, is it? I don't know, whatever, it looks really old. So this is gonna be it. Number six is find a book with a girl on the cover. Do you know what be a fun game is if I just went like this and stop my finger. And I bet you that one has a girl on the cover. Let's do that actually, shall we? So because of course, YA novels love to have chicks on the front of them, I am literally just going to go like this, stop on a book and see if there's a girl on the cover. And if not, I'll actually just grab another one that has a girl on the cover. So here we go. Yeah. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. And guess what? She's a lady. Not dude looks like a lady. She's actually like a chick. Look. Like, let me count the ways that there are girls on the cover. That's just the top shelf. So the next question is, find a book that has an animal in it. And I'm actually standing next to the wall shelves that actually has a book with one of those. And that book is Beautiful Creatures by Kimmy Garcia and Margaret Stoll. And the animal I'm thinking of in here is of course, Boo Radley, the doggy. Puppies. Next question is, 
find a book with a male protagonist and just so happens right in front of me is my Harry Potter shelf. So let me just grab one. How convenient, I grabbed the first one. And this is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Obviously, Harry Potter is a boy. Dude it up with his scar. Next question is, find a book with only words on the cover. So I have a couple of ideas, I will be right back. So I found two books for this one and I know that we actually have like a ton more that could fall into this one, which is funny because it seems that this is one that a lot of people have been having problems with. Anyways, first one that I found was The Book of Awesome by Neil Pashrisha. I don't know how to say his name, but yes, The Book of Awesome because it is so awesome that it only needs words on the front. And the second book I found is The Room by Emma Donahue. No pictures, just words, but words in awesome colors, so... That makes it okay. Next question is find a book with gold lettering. One sec. Once again, I found two because apparently one is never enough. First one I found is The Bro Code, Bernie Stinson, How I Met Your Mother. And this is of course written by Bernie Stinson, Neil Patrick Harris. Gold letterings, me. And the second one I found is Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. There you go. Two books with gold. Two very different books also. I feel like these don't go well together. Find a diary, true or fictional. Uh, I don't know that I have a diary. I, I mean, I know I don't have a diary because I don't keep one. One minute. Okay, yeah, so this one is definitely one that I'm having some troubles with. I don't think that I was looking to see if I had the diary of Anne Frank, but I don't. So I'm just going to See maybe if these count? I don't know. Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns by Mindy Calling. This is just kind of more like a memoir. Not a memoir, it's like, you know, her story as she was growing up. And the other one I picked up was Push by Sapphire. There's spots in here where she's writing in her journals, so I thought maybe that would count. I don't know. Next question is find a book with illustrations in it. Once again, I grabbed two books for this one. Whoops. First one is going to be The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis. And this copy I have has drawings all through it. The other one I grabbed was Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. And at the beginning of every chapter, there is like a little illustration of like a body part, like there's a skull. That one has illustrations too. Find a book written by somebody with a common last name like Smith. The one I grabbed was Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. And where I'm from, Martin is an extremely common last name. I know at least three people with the last name Martin, so there you go. Find a book with a close-up. The book I chose for this one is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. That is a pretty close-up picture of this chick's face. Find a hardcover book without a jacket, and I have that just right up here on one of my floating shelves. And that is going to be Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, which is the second book in the Hunger Games trilogy. And the reason that this doesn't have a dust jacket is because I lost it immediately after I read it. Fail. Actually, I think it was during the time I was reading it. I never happened to recover this one. Sad face. Next question is find a book that is teal slash turquoise. Hmm. Boom. I picked up Shopaholic Ties a Knot by Sophia Kinsella, and I also grabbed, bing, The Happiness Project by Gretchen Rubin. Actually, this one is kind of blue. Fail. This one is definitely turquoise. Now it looks blue. It's just getting worse. Next question is, find a book with stars on it. Okay, so I actually don't have a book that actually has stars on it. This one says stars. Hey, I'm easy. Not like that. And the very last question, oh boy, is find a non-YA book. This is going to be an extremely easy task because that whole entire shelf right there is all non-YA. So let me just go grab one. So I grabbed three. First one is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. As you know, this is a classic, not a YA. Ah, everything's falling to pieces. Next book is Area 51 by Annie Jacobson, and this is a like non-fiction-y, sci-fi almost kind of thing about Area 51. And the last non-YA one is Friday Night Lights by H.G. Bissinger. Bissinger? Weird last names. This one's a sport book. You may have seen the movie, but did you know that it was a book too? 
you should check it out. All right, guys, so as you can see, the sun's already gone down because that's how long it took me to film this because I had to run around and find all the books and it was pretty, you know, it was some exercise. Definitely don't have to go for a run tonight. Success. Thank you so much for watching. I am tagging everyone because I can't really think of anybody specific who I'm sure hasn't already been tagged, but if you haven't been tagged, then bam, tag. Tag, you're it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye bye. So we kick, push, kick. <sighs> okay. Probably shouldn't film up here anymore. Okay, I almost fell. Oh no! I'll be sad because Carl always gets to be in the videos, and he never does, right? Oh, no.